Good afternoon. It's quarter to one Eastern time, or here in the UK it's quarter to six in the after in the evening. And I've taken one trade today, which I'm going to recap right now. So just a quick overview. We're looking at the daily on the screen, and look how messy that looks. I said earlier today, and I said yesterday, if we, if we close below this area, um, it's going to be a messy few days. And again. We broke down and again we broke down again today so we've got an area to watch out for which is this area here so we're coming into it soon 4100, 4125 or if you're watching it on SPY um, 40, 410 to 411 on SPY's potential bounce in fact I've got a potential bounce also at 4150 on MES so just a very quick one there's still some time left in the market um, 41.50 that's the area I'm watching for a bounce and if we break down there there's a big gap so a big void we're already into the queues big void so lots of downside maybe but anyway if I'm around before I, before I go out later um, 41.50 is an area I'm going to watch for a potential bounce and on the spy that should be around 4.10 okay so 4.10 to 4.11 that's an area on watch but anyway, let's just go over my trade for today. Um, it was taken on the five minute chart. So I open up the five minute chart. And if you recall, I had this level 4204 in the pre market video. And in fact, these are the two levels I was watching. I'm watching for a potential bounce down here and a potential rejection up here. Zoom in. My pen doesn't want to work. Here we go. So this is my rejection area here, 4204. That's the area I was watching. So let me just go over the reason I got the trade and where I got in. So I basically took it. I was I, was, I had the two minute chart open as well, which I show. That's a better chart. And on the two minute chart, I was waiting for it. My entry was going to be there um, at 42.04 exactly. And as it poked up, I saw it come out in and I got in on the way back down. So my entry was actually better than 42.04. I think it's 42.04.25 or 42.04.50. So my, I only took one contract because um, it was a high risk because it's right on the open. And I really, I should have taken two, I made a mistake, I accidentally bought one and it moved too quick and I don't want to be chasing it. So I stuck with the one, I potentially was going to wait for a, um, for a, um, a little bit of a pullback, but in the end I stuck with the one contract and on the five minute, well you can see it on the two minute, this is the 50 moving average on the two. I had my eyes on the VWAP and I, and I only had one contract, so I didn't have any flexibility on holding anything. So to maximise it, I, I said, if it gets down to the 20 moving average on the five minute, I'm getting out. And that was exactly where I got out. And I was wary of this data candle as well, thinking that there's going to be algos sitting at this level, waiting to bounce the, bounce, bounce the market. So I got out exactly on the um, 20 moving average. So in at 42.04, out at... It was 41.93 and it was a good trade, a really good trade. In fact, I got a slightly better out than that because it was closer to, let's go back to the two. My out was a bit better because I it went through the 50 on the two minute and I saw this tail come in and I got out just here. So it was actually 41.90 my out. So 41.90.50 is exactly round about there, yeah. So it's a great out and a good trade. And that was me done for the day. I didn't need to trade. I've, I've got an Apex account and on my Apex account, I'm trading 15 individual um, accounts. So a $60 move down, which is what it was, is almost, um, I can't work it out, but 15 accounts times it by 60. 
it's a nine hundred dollar move for a very small low risk trade, and you can see then the data, this data level I took, I, I, I drew in earlier, the market hovered around this, it just chopped, and could I've done better? Could I've held? Uh, I do want to risk stopping out, so my out was the right place down here, so that's a good out. Maybe I should have added there, and I was looking for an add, but you know what? I was happy with what I had, and. I could get I couldn't get a take on the market. The volume wasn't quite right as well. It's a slightly red above average volume on on that candle, and then the next candle was a small candle. It probably was an anomaly this candle, but it's still a wide range candle. Came into my level as well, so I should have, I should have just shorted it. You know, trust my levels. I need to trust them more. But where we are now, we are actually breaking down pretty well. Look at that, we're right down there. So I did leave a lot of the move on the table. So in my journal, I'm gonna I'm gonna write about making sure I get in and add in as well because it's the important thing. I could have added there. I could have added here, top and tails. I was watching. I saw the two top and tails come in on the on the two, and I could have easily got in on the break of that candle and just held it down. Maybe just scalped it to the VWAP. So that would added a bit to the trade. But we're still going down. Look at how weak we're looking. So 4150 is an area I'm watching for a potential bounce, which is 4 410 to 411 on the spy. So that's it. Um, I didn't use volume at all today because so close to the open, you can see we've got this big area of volume. I generally ignore volume. So there I'm just looking for supply and demand or support and resistance areas. And the fact it was in the area, 42 is the first touch of that area as well. So other than when we broke down through it, and that's why I was confident it was going to be an area it was going to reject, and my out was always going to be above that, that above that candle, which was 42.05 area. So my stop would have been quite tight. So it would have been a small stop, but I got a decent move from it, and that's it really. Um, we've got no news today. I'm back tomorrow at um, 9 a.m. Eastern time, which in the UK is 2 p.m. And I'll go through my levels for the day again, just like I did today. Anything, um, got news at 8.30. So lots of news at 8.30. So it'll be another a, move, a big moving day, possibly before the, pre, before the market opens. And again, I will tweak my levels based on any new supply or demand or any new resistance levels created today. But I'm pretty much done for my trading. My trade lasted for a whole two minutes today. And that's not bad. So $900 from a two minute trade is not bad at all. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow in the live video at 9am Eastern Time.